hi i welcome all of you in my channel and in this video in this video we will discuss that how we can perform a chi square test in the mini tab what are the assumption of chi square test why where we can use the bonnet and where we can use the chi square test so let's start this video we have only one sample data and it is quite clear that when we have only one sample and we are interested in the variation of that sample we will always use chi square test the formula for the chi square test is is n minus 1 s square divided by sigma naught square n is the number of observation in the sample s square is basically the variance of the sample and sigma naught square is the variance which we will use for in order to in order to compare the in order in order to compare the variance of the sample with the stated value so sigma naught square is basically a stated value that is used for making for the hypothesis formulation so the first step in order to solve this question we will have to check the normality of this data because if the data is normal then we can apply a chi square test and if the data is not normal then we can use a second alternative that is bonnet test bonnet test is used when the data is continuous so this data is also we have this data in the continuous form let's start with the assumption satisfaction we will input the whole data in the mini tab this is the data that we have in the mini tab let's go towards the satisfaction of the assumption so we will go to the graph this plot or this one probability plot are also very uh, easy to compute so you will have to select this variable only and when this variable come here in the gra graph variables just you will have to click ok and you will see the graph within seconds it is under process okay you can see that the whole of the data lies in the 95 confidence interval so it means that the data following normal distribution also the values of the anderson darling test and the p value they also are telling us that the data follows normal distribution there is no deviation of the data from the normal distribution the high the high p value from the 0.05 it shows that the data following normal distribution so the assumption has been satisfied we can use the chi square test then we will come towards the data and then go to stat again go click on one variance in the one variance you will have to select the column that contains the data so i just like this i will have selected then uh, always click this button means we want to perform the hypothesis test so hypothesis variance value i have put it one because this data has been given in the question number 2.31 part b that test the hypothesis that sigma square variance of the sample is equal to one this is the stated value or hypothesized value so then we, it is asked that what are our conclusions let's select this and we will get our results in a while so we got our chi square value 15.02 this is the test statistic value there are 19 degrees of freedom associated with this value and our p value obtained is 0.557 keep in mind this value because based upon this value we will perform we will conclude our overall uh, uh, all conclusions so we conclude that as the obtained p value is greater than the alpha value 0.05 therefore we fail to reject the null hypothesis and the variance of this given data is equal is statistically equal to the one regarding part c we have checked the normality assumption and it is satisfied again it is uh, said to check normality by constructing normal probability plot yes we have plotted the normality uh, normal probability plot uh, uh, earlier and we concluded that the whole data lies between 95 percent confidence interval uh, around the mean value the p value is uh, is zero is greater than 0 0.05 for, so it is also showing that the data data is following normal distribution the anderson darling test values also had that is showing the normality of the data 
regarding the part E, construct a 95 percent confidence interval. So, the mini tab constructs the confidence interval for us based upon the value of standard deviation instead of the variance. In order to calculate the confidence intervals based upon variance, we will have to use the formulas that are given in the book name Design and Analysis of Experiments by Montgomery. Hopefully, uh, this problem has cleared all of your concepts regarding the chi-square. Thanks for a lot for watching this video. If you have any question, you can uh, WhatsApp me or you can ask in the comments. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye.